Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us Part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have spoken so much about air, we talked about the composition of air, we talked about the importance of each and every gas that is present in the air. Now overall, air is important not only for the survival of living organisms, but for a lot of other stuffs as well. For example, as I said, it helps birds and insects fly. They cannot, could not have been able to fly if there was no air. It also helps aeroplanes and parachutes to move. It helps in dispersal of seeds. Now what is dispersal of seeds? Now what are seeds? Seeds are the tiny uh, thing which give rise to new plants. So seeds are produced by plants and then the same seeds can be used to give rise to new plants. So that means it helps in uh, helps plants to reproduce one after another generation. Now these seeds are carried away from one place to another by wind and that is called dispersal of wind seeds. Now when you carry the seeds, let's say a seed was produced by a plant which was here. So a lot of seeds were produced here. Now by wind, some of the seeds got carried away to this place. Some seeds got carried away to this place. Some seeds got carried away to this place. So what would happen? Over a period of couple of months or couple of years, you will have plants in this area. You will also have plants in this area. You will also have plants in this area. And you already anyways have plants in this area. But had there been no seed dispersal in that case, you could have had all the plants in one area itself. So that way, dispersal of seeds help plants to be grown at different places. So that's how the greenery increases. We need plants everywhere because without plants, again, the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will get disturbed. So seed dispersal is a nice thing and seed dispersal happens as a result of wind because seeds are not very heavy so heavy wind can actually carry the seeds from one place to another so that way it helps in dispersal of seeds wind meals are another important application of wind wind is nothing but moving air is called wind so what are wind mills so these are like uh, you can say call them like engines and they utilize wind energy for useful purposes now wind when when air blows so this wind has a lot of energy in it and we can use this energy for many purposes. Now why do we need energy? We need electric energy. So from where do we get electric energy? Like how is electricity generated? So electricity can be generated from wind energy as well. So let's see how these wind energy can be used for various purposes. Now wind energy can be used to pump water. It can also be used to meal grains, it can also be used to generate electricity. So let us quickly have a look at each of these. So here you can see the picture of a windmill. So it has blades like this, so these are called blades. Now as the wind blows, so it, it keeps rotating like this. It, it's just like a fan. So the blades are structured in such a way that they are not very heavy and also as the wind blows, the blades will start rotating. So that's how the wind mill works. Similarly, you have um, the wind pumps which might look something like this. So there also you have blades and then they, it keeps moving and when it rotates, it, it can help to meal grains. It can also help to pump water because that mechanical energy or this energy while it is rotating, it can be used to generate electricity, it can be used to pump water from below. So there are a lot of uh, useful purposes that can happen. But all of these happens because of the presence of wind and wind is what? Nothing but moving air. So air is important. So let's see in little more detail how a wind turbine works. So wind turbine is the name given to that device which specifically generates electricity from wind energy. So just now we were talking about generation of electricity, right? So this is how the wind mill looks like or the wind turbine looks like. And these are the blades of the turbine. And what happens now as the wind passes by, these blades start spinning around. So the blades will start rotating like this. So the blades start spinning around. Now these, if you observe closely, you will see that the blades have a slightly curved shape so that they can capture as much energy as possible from the wind. So most of the wind energy is captured by these blades. Now what happens? Now these blades start
start to rotate so within this turbine electric energy gets generated so the wind energy gets converted to electrical energy or electricity and then this electricity which gets generated so these blue arrows it shows the electricity that is generated so that electricity get get carried away to the transformer so you have a transformer here and then from the transformer it goes to the power station so this is this is nothing but a power station so from the power station, it goes to the various power lines and from here it goes to various households or offices or wherever it has to go. So that's how it, the entire process of electricity generation happens. But all these happen due to the presence of wind. So it's a beautiful application of wind or air. So that that's, uh, looking at all these, we can see that how critical air is not only for the survival of living organisms, but for a lot of other things as well. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.